if you're looking for somebody i think uh, i don't think but uh, you must uh, look first of all for the street number street street address and then the apartment number because okay once you know my street so what you must know the apartment number so that you can reach the actual apartment where i'm staying uh, so we looked at uh, ip addresses and we ha we said those are the street numbers you get the street addresses then we have a port number and uh, in this concern it's the apartment address all right ladies and gentlemen now uh, in this uh, tutorial we're going to look at uh, ports because remember we are looking at uh, malware development and uh, we are we on a series we are in a, on a chapter about networking for professionals all right so ports are kind of uh, sub addresses the ip address is the primary address and the port is the sub address um you may think of uh, an ip address as the street address of a building and then the port as the apartment number or the apartment address you get um yes so this is similar to post the ip address gets us to the right host but the port takes us to the proper service uh, and in in this regard let's say http that is 80 uh, port 80 or http http um is it 880 http s yeah https that is 880 I don't know maybe I'm dizzy maybe I'm hungry I don't know what's happening to me today but I must do this <coughs> but I'm not uh, I'm not feeling myself today all right <coughs> um, we have uh, 65536 ports and uh, the first 1024 are generally referred to as the common ports you get but as a hacker as a red teamer as an offensive developer as a security engineer or a network engineer there are a few ports that you should know by heart you get because uh, these ports will be used on a day basis uh, yeah in your networking endeavors i don't know the image isn't looking that good but uh, please bear with me this is the best i can do as per now so um, port 21 is for ftp you get Port 22 is for SSH, port 23 is for Telnet, port 25 is for SMTP, uh, port 53 is for DNS. Yeah, the image isn't looking good, but uh, actually I'm going to do another image, then uh, I'm going to post uh, a separate video about this. Right. So let's, uh, let's look at uh, how can we view open ports on a system? Oh, yeah we utilize a tool that is very familiar to most of us in cyber security in networking community and that is nmap for you ladies and gentlemen so um, this hel helps to know what ports are open and which services are running on the target system okay yeah we just do a sudo nmap dash st and uh, the IP address of the target, you get All right. Let's try that out. Um, uh, Kali machine, don't worry, this isn't connected on the internet, even if you try it, you won't get anything. So, let's do a sudo nmap dash st. Mm. One two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Let's see. Okay. As we fail to resolve, got the IP temporary failure in name resolution. Okay. Let's utilize um ten dot uh, zero dot. We are utilizing the app address of this every machine. Dot three, dot fifteen. Fault resolve. Dot uh, ten. 
failed to resolve. I don't know what temporary failure in name resolution. I don't know what's happening to my machine. I don't know, it's free kind of freezing today. Sorry for this guys. I don't know. I was looking at resistors maybe so that's why it's freezing um should i think made a mistake in this all right yeah <coughs> the command is uh small s capital t yeah and uh, as you've seen it says in up one ip address up yeah, that means host is up and running, but blocking our ping probes. So that means we should try and map with dash pn. All right, don't worry, we shall look at end map. As per now, you can see that everything was working. Let's do it again. Uh, let's do 15 and see. Yeah. Cost is up. That uh, that's according to 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 end map. You get a host because uh, we we've scanned this very machine and it scanned all one thousand uh, ports. All one thousand ports are closed. No, we shall look at that. <coughs> all right, let's let's proceed. Um. happening today come on come on don't do this to me all right yeah i think this is the end of it see you next time guys i don't know i have to fix my machine